Hello viewers, welcome once again to my channel. In our lesson today, we are going to look at some of the WASI questions that has been given on plane geometry one. Now our first question, as you can see on the screen, is a diagram given and it reads, find the value of the angle marked Y in the diagram. And we have our possible answers there, but the way forward in solving this question is first to look at finding the value of X. Then from there, you can proceed to find the value of Y. If you study the diagram carefully, you realize that there are parallel lines in part of the diagram. And then we have angles 120 degrees, 3x, and then 5x. Now, in finding the value of x, we are going to obtain a total angle of 360 degrees because all these three angles meet at a common point, and that gives us a total of 360 degrees. So finding the value of x, then we are going to have it as 120 degrees plus 3x plus 5x must be equal to 360 degrees. Now, 8x will be equal to 360 degrees minus 120 degrees. 8x then will be equal to 40 and then 2 as well as 0. So we have 240 degrees. So dividing through by 8, x will be giving us a value of 30 degrees. Now that we've obtained for the value of x, if you look at it carefully, you realize that we have some parallel lines. And there is one parallel line at this end. Therefore, there will be the need for you to draw an extension for that parallel line. So introducing an extension from this edge, it means we may have it as this. So therefore, knowing the value of x to be 30, then the total angle here will be given as 3 times 30, and that is equal to 90 degrees. Now you bear with me, the angle as we can see here is 120, but because of the extension we've made, then we have a straight line angle there. So if part of it is 90, then the other angle at this corner here will be giving us a value of also 90 degrees, which tells you that we have a straight line angle property being used there. Now, proceeding to find the value of y, then it means the angle 90 degrees and the value of y are co-interior angles. Therefore, y plus 90 degrees must be equal to 180 degrees because co-interior angles add up to 180 degrees. Therefore, the value of y will also be equal to 180 degrees minus 90 degrees, which gives us y as 90 degrees. I believe it is well understood. Now, moving on to the next